War is a difficult topic to talk about. Perspectives range from seeing war as a glorious service, to a necessary evil, to a thing to be avoided at all costs. In this short video, we wanted to show you the human cost of war by numbers. This visual representation is an oversimplification of the true cost of war because it doesn't take into account the impact of trauma and other economic and social costs. We took the most accurate numbers we could from online encyclopedias, but even then, there's a dispute about the numbers of casualties. In some wars, military casualties are easy to find, but what about civilians? We decided just to count casualties of military personnel for the purposes of this video, while recognizing that all of these numbers are truly much higher and much more devastating. There have been over 150 wars in modern history that have claimed over 25,000 deaths. That's a lot of conflict. First, we'll show you the numbers of total casualties and the numbers of Canadian casualties in some of the major wars of the 20th and 21st centuries. Each toy soldier represents 150 real soldiers. Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan. Total casualties, around 2,000. Canadian lives lost, 159. The Second Boer War, total casualties, around 46,000. Canadian lives lost, over 250. The conflict against ISIS, total casualties, over 300,000. Canadian lives lost, 500. The Korean War, total casualties, about 3 million. Canadian lives lost, 516. The First World War, to represent the First and Second World Wars, which have been the most devastating wars in history, we're gonna have to change our math. Now each soldier is gonna represent 800 soldiers. First World War, total casualties, 16 million. Canadian lives lost, over 61,000. Second World War, total casualties, as many as 85 million. Canadian lives lost, 45,000. To represent the number of Canadian casualties with MRCS student population, First World War would be 152 MRCSs of Canadian lives lost, and the Second World War would represent 112 MRCSs lives lost. 